Right now, I'm standing in front of the main building of Northern State Medical University. Behind me, you can see the main entrance of the university. This is front side. So I'll be taking you guys inside the university, showing you guys around various, you know, uh, classrooms, uh, auditoriums and a lot of stuff, whatever is available in the university. Other than the university, I'll be going to the hospitals linked to the university and uh, maybe try to go into the anatomy department and even the simulation center and all of that stuff. First of all, I'll go and visit inside and show you guys like whatever the facilities are available uh, inside of the university. On my left side, the main entrance from where students enter into the building and, and into the campus of the university. And on my right side is uh, one of the polyclinics of the university, which is linked again linked to the university. So in total, there are five hospitals, major hospitals that are linked with the university uh, other than like smaller polyclinics and clinics. So I'll be showing you guys around the city and the university and all of that stuff. So let's get on with it. Right now I'm going to the anatomy department of and the same university then even there again like i'll try to show you guys what are the facilities and things available in the department uh various things behind me you can see is the main hospital of uh, the city and the oblast naya balinese site is called in all of the cities the name is same uh the oblast naya it means like the hospital of the entire region the state so this is the main hospital of course there are a lot of smaller clinics and polyclinics that are all linked to the university but this is the main one and today the weather is quite good <laughs> as compared to uh, yesterday it was raining the whole day uh, so yeah let's get inside the building and i will try to give you guys a glimpse so the entire thing Right now I'm standing inside the simulation center building of the university. Uh, we are on the second floor, the main simulation centers, the, all of the like the bodies, the robotic bodies and everything is present on the second floor. There are classes, uh, students they take their classes on the ground floor as well as on the above floors. Uh, right now there is a class going on in one of the cabinets. So I'll try to show you guys uh, the one where there is no class going on right now. So let's come with me. These are like photos of different well, the professors trying to teach. So this is one of the open cabinets right now. Uh, these are like the arms, the bodies that students can use. These can use basically the students can practice to, you know, uh, give injection and all that stuff and this is the same thing uh, and if you look over here these are real size bodies uh, I think this is a female body uh, this is uh, I think this is a pediatric simulation center if I'm not wrong uh, and what else can i show you guys okay so uh this is like all of the simulation center room and one of the rooms and over here if we look uh if you can see there is a classroom kind of a classroom for students to take classes so basically students they will come over here uh maybe for internal medicine or like some other subjects i'm not sure which subjects they are going to teach over here. maybe an at me internal medicine even I think pharmacy also some classes are held in uh, like there are uh, simulation centers for all of that stuff. So students will come over here, they will take their classes and then uh, once the theoretical part of the class is over, then they will come uh, in the simulation center cabinets and then they will practice 
the skills or the things that they have learned in that particular day so this is how it works i'll try to show some other rooms now if something is open and uh, you know the students are not over there because we don't really want to disturb the students uh, especially like right now there are only russian students studying so let's go go to one more uh, so basically the idea behind showing you guys all of this is that you can see for yourself uh, there are a lot of uh, rooms such similar rooms available for students so that um, multiple students don't have to uh, wait for uh, you know wait for to practice on the bodies on the robots and all of that stuff so all of these are again similar to uh, like you know uh, the one that we saw earlier uh, i think it is all same uh, again over there is the yeah the classroom of the students where they are going to take classes uh, this over here is i think a kind of uh, what is it exactly i'm not sure but mm, screen to sh maybe show some slides or i don't know exactly <laughs> and it is for something <laughs> that's for sure so yeah so let's move forward with some other rooms some other cabinets that we have right now uh, all of this is for practice of students only uh, like different models to try and give injections and all of that stuff so yeah let's move forward with another cabinet right now uh, I'm in the gynecology simulation center so here students can actually uh, practice giving deliveries live deliveries uh, using these bodies I have already uh, like I have done all of this myself in my university as well so the point of view showing all of this is that there are only a few uh, universities in all of Russia that have this kind of uh, simulation centers and this kind of facilities available for students uh, most of the universities they don't really have it I think there are maximum four or five in all of Russia that have this kind of uh, simulation center uh, available for students to practice their skills uh, this is one more another room available like this is for the surgical practice for students these are kind of like laparoscopic uh, things that uh, laparoscopic probes that you use to do uh, this endoscopic or laparoscopic procedures uh, basically students uh, like you will do you know insert the instruments over there and you can see all of that over there on the screens uh, this is like the real surgery that uh, is done on the live patient but again this is all robots and these are similar things but uh, like the procedure is like the machinery is same but uh, you know the screens they are going to show you like how it is going to look inside the body and like it being transparent all that uh, can give you an idea like what kind of movement you're doing outside is helping uh, like what kind of movement that you're doing outside is uh, you know resulting in what kind of movement inside of the instrument so he has simulation center and we have a professor with us right now he is kindly agreed us to show the room come to uh, one more the last room that i would like to show you guys is this uh, virtual table all oh, students they can basically like you know uh, dissect a patient or do different kind of stuff so like this is our patient and you can basically you know rotate them 
see various body parts and use various tails, uh, tools also like for example this is the dissection tool uh, it is going on okay so we have <laughs> marked the cut over here it is processing little slow but it's fine yeah <laughs> we have basically cut the entire arm now so this is kind of like virtual uh, patient table you can uh, even see the various body parts by uh, okay, like various layers of the body parts all of them virtually this is something interesting so you can see a lot of stuff and there like this is just the human body you can see uh, like the specific parts of uh, the body as well like so basically there are there's a lot of things that you can do from like with the help of this say you can see different muscles this is quite interesting i don't think that i've seen many of these uh, in a lot of universities or all good stuff <laughs> Okay, you can change the language and all of this. This is all in English, basically, right now. Uh, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it... So, students can basically do a lot of stuff. 